I almost missed the landing pad there. <laughs> Jumbo jet coming in for a landing. Clear on runway nine. Fat tattooed monkey. <laughs> I'm going to edit that out of this video. Oh, man. Oh, I just had a miserable thought about all the wallets I got to start making tonight. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Takes an enormous amount of time. Um, I've noticed that, uh, and I'm sure you have too, that people inside the, the city have kind of gone insane. They're brainwashed by uh, mainstream media. They don't have a mind of their own. They can't think on their own. Um, we're setting up a medical apartheid system. And uh, uh, I don't know if you saw it or not. You want to talk about hypocrisy? And this is not politics because I don't do politics. Uh, it was really heinous. Uh, this uh, California senator, she's uh, it's called Pelosi is her name. She had a $30,000 a plate. This is the one that's been telling everybody to wear a face diaper in Congress or the House of Representatives. Sorry. And she had all these people seated really, really close together, paid $30,000 a head. And nobody was wearing a face diaper. There's video of it out there on the Internet. But the, the, the people that uh, were wearing face diapers were all the, the peon, you know, the lowly servants. Um, uh, I found it reprehensible. It was like the height of hypocrisy. It was really disgusting. Um, talk about do as I say, not as I do. I drove in down, driving down the street today. It was just hotter than Satan's crotch outside. There was a guy mowing his lawn. Uh, wearing a face diaper. I mean, God, I don't know if that guy could breathe or not. Um, there really is just mass hysteria and gross insanity going on. Um, I have to say something else, too. This happens every few months. Is that someone will actually screen grab uh, my uh, icon that I use, you know, and uh, they'll copy-paste my name, and so they'll generate... A YouTube user that looks like it's me, if you like right click on that person's name, you'll say it'll say this person has no content. And what they do is they'll spam you saying, uh, come over here to this WhatsApp number and make a donation. And I get rid of these people as soon as I find them. Um, but what they do is they pretend to be another YouTube uh, person, meaning me, so they could lure you over to WhatsApp and then ask for a donation. And uh, an unwitting person might think, that it's me, but it's of course not me. I will never ever mention anything like that, much less do I use WhatsApp. These are international scammers. I always report them and block them. Every few months one of them will pop up and what they do is they copy paste the exact same spam and I, I, I block words too, like I'll blo block the words WhatsApp. Somehow they make their way through. But they'll post like to three or four hundred people I spent over two hours deleting a huge string of comments. I, these people might have an application to like mass spam people in the comments. Like, yeah, and people will look like, well, that's me, meaning it has my same name, and my, but it's not me. I'll never, ever do that, so I just had to mention that. Um, I love Australians, okay? Let me say this before saying this. The Australians that I'm about to say this about agree with me. It seems like Australia has fallen um, look, the United States has a million problems, and I'll harp on every one of them. But what's going on in Australia right now is a total uh, embarrassment. Uh, cops are using hard rubber projectiles on its own citizens. You know, and since all of this is for the Australians' health, you know, pepper string and clubbing. I mean, I saw children, you know, that were being clubbed and thrown to the ground. One's a 12-year-old girl. They slammed her to the ground, and then they maced her. It's just absolutely horrible, completely illogical. You know, this uh, sort of, uh, so many Australians have sent me videos, half of them are on Twitter. This draconian, in it, draconian insanity in the extreme is, uh, you know, horrific and depressing. Um, I've said this before, I've uh, basically sold everything that's not nailed down uh, last year to centralize my life for what's important, you know, which is, you know, buying a cabin and buying land. Um, it's not a lot of lamb, but it's mine. Um, anyway, I work in twice as hard now for half as much. And this is a definite truth because I'm going to be up to like 5 o'clock in the morning tonight working on alligator wallets. And, you know, you know, I could do it in my shorts and 
you know, listen to classical music at the same time I'm doing it, but it makes my hands really stiff every morning when I wake up. I'm not really complaining about that. It, I love making stuff. When you make the same stuff over and over again, though, it gets to be a bit tedious. I made something nice for myself out of alligator hanging on the wall there. I should have brought it over here for you to see. Um, one thing that make anybody, uh, anybody and everybody feel better is that everybody should find something every day to be proud of and to be grateful for. It makes uh, daily life uh, so much better because uh, the mental element is, of course, more than half the battle. Here's a little nautilus shell that was uh, cut, a cut slice nautilus shell I picked up in Florida. I got a few of these. It's kind of gorgeous, gorgeous uh, geometric uh, symmetry. Um, Nobody's going to get out of this life alive. Not me, not you, so... You need to take it seriously, but, I mean, you need to have uh, compassion for your fellow man. Um, what those cops are doing in Australia, you know, brutalizing and assaulting their own citizens is demonic and evil. Um, all these Australians sent me videos saying that the truckers were going to shut down the entire country on August uh, the 31st. You know, I don't advocate for this one way or the other. I'm not taking a position. I'm just telling you the videos that I've seen. They, these Australian truckers are telling people to uh, go out and hoard food because they're going to shut down the entire country on the last day of August. I don't take any position on this. I'm only reporting to you what I've been told, okay? So don't attack the messenger. Um, the problem that I see in the United States and big time in Australia is that... Uh, there's just so many spineless cowards everywhere. Um, these people of, in Australia, the United States, New Zealand, and other places have just skyrocketed over the past century or so. Um, these same crazy people, and there's a lot of them, are in favor of destroying everybody's lives and freedoms in exchange for a little safety. I'm not going to take any position on that. I'm making a demonstrable objective observation, and this is true. Um, these same spineless people it used to be people hated to go to a car dealership and haggle with these people um, me it never was because I have a really sharp mind and you know, I can outwit most people I mean I can, that's not a bragging so I have, I've never had a problem I enjoy it you know, I enjoy you know, getting into the nitty gritty haggling and talking down a car not that I you know, can afford to buy cars or whatever but uh, you know, I bought like five or six of my life. But people have gotten so spineless that these places that sell cars online, like uh, Carvana and these other places, what they do is they're preying on the stupid spineless people that are too much of a coward to go to a dealership. These commercials, and it's just a prime example of the spineless nature of humanity. They're just going to sit at home. It's like, well, you know, I can sit in my underwear and shop for a car. It's like, no, you need to crawl underneath the car with a flashlight. You need to know what you're looking for. The notion of buying a car online is just so insanely ignorant, unless you're just filthy rich. If it's a new car, there's not really anything to look like, look at. It's like, it's a new car, this is the color and style I want, go ahead and deliver it. Uh, but 99% of these car sales are used cars. It's like, you need to crawl underneath it, you need to do haggling, you need to do a lot. There's no haggling. You just find what you like, you click on it, and you buy it. Um... It's just kind of a prime example of the spineless nature of humanity. And humans have really gotten very spineless. Um, they're afraid to go to like a car dealership and haggle and battle, you know, with the lot lizards. I don't know if you know what a lot lizard is. It's a car salesman who, you know, <laughs> they wander around a car lot selling cars. Call them lot lizards. Have you ever heard that one before? Um, but I lead a, a simple life. Some people have attacked me recently. Uh, on uh, the photography stuff, that I've had a lack of uh, photography uh, videos recently, and the answer to that is true, uh, but there's a really good reason for it. The top 10 YouTube photography channels are way, 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 way down in viewership and talk. There's, there's no new gear out there. I mean, a lot of photography stuff is travel, yeah? and there's nobody traveling right now. There hasn't been for the past year and a half. The camera companies are in a serious slump. Everybody's focused on staying alive financially and otherwise. They just are. And so uh, photography has taken a back seat. I mean, I'm always having my eyes peeled and watching all the stuff in photography. I really am. Um, 
I haven't reviewed Fujifilm's latest 18mm 1.4. You want to know the truth of the matter? I'll tell you the truth, and if I'm lying, I'm dying. I'll give you the truth. You want it? I've begged multiple times to borrow that lens, okay? I make Fujifilm a lot of money. Um, talking and writing books. I, I haven't been able to borrow it. You know, I, I guess I'll just have to buy it. I, I'm not a person of money or means. I, I don't have money, even though I work twice as hard now as I did a couple of years ago. But, uh, you know, if I have to buy it, I will. Um, but I've asked to borrow that lens, and I've not been able to borrow it. Um, yeah, the guy that makes, you know, that loves Fujifilm so much and uh, has made Fujifilm a, a fortune in camera gear, I haven't been able to borrow it. I've asked multiple, multiple times, but I haven't been able to borrow it. I mean, if I'm lying, I'm dying, okay? I love Fujifilm to death, absolutely. Um, I guess this is as good a time as any not to be able to rent, uh, not rent, but borrow the lens. Um, I have to be honest with you, I don't like that. But, uh, you know, it's somebody else's prerogative to not let me borrow it. And uh, that's perfectly fine, you know. Nobody has to let me borrow anything. Um, but I don't like that. And I'm never going to apologize for what I just said in this video because everything I said in this video is 100% true. Um, but the photography world has been in essential shutdown now for about a year and a half. And it's not just me, it just has been. You know, I bemoan this fact. What can I do about it? I can't do anything about it. I'm just one person. So people say, where are your photography related content? You haven't talked about any new photography gear in a while. It's like, well, there's a reason for that. Almost no new photography gear has come out in the past year plus. You know, other photography, the top 10 YouTube photography channels are, you know, their viewership is way down. I mean, that's all they talk about. I've always talked about multiple things. Metaphysics, field theory, um, electrical theory. I've talked about a lot of stuff because, you know, I have my head very deeply in a lot of different uh, subjects, thankfully. And diversification is very, very important, so. Um, but what's going on in this world is atrocious. It really is. Uh, what Australia is doing, I'm just going to use one word, it's absolutely shocking. And uh, it makes Australia look like it's fallen. And I'm not the first person to say that. I mean, a lot of people out there said, oh, you know, Australia has fallen. I don't tell anybody what to do in their lives, what to do, what not to do. I never have. I never will. It's none of my business what you do or how you live your life. You know, I can't stand control freaks that tell other people what to do or how to live their lives. You know, mind your own damn business. Not talking to you, you know, these people. Mind your own damn business. Lead your life, you know, lead a, a simple, clean, pure life. And that's what's important. Wisdom is of utmost importance, but that's not what this video is about. But I did call this video, don't watch this video, so. Um. I also, too, want to be appreciative to anybody that's ever made a donation or been uh, kind or, like, placed an order for a wallet. I'll be working hard on your wallet, and, you know, that's uh, one of my uh, four jobs to keep myself afloat. Um, I've been working hard the past two days, even though I haven't uploaded any videos the past two days. I just I do a lot of research and writing and reading and... Uh, People send me a lot of content and I process it. You know, it's like it's either nonsense or it might not be nonsense or totally true. But uh, I did walk out on my farm for one day, which was nice. It's just hotter than heck, but uh, shirtless, by the way. Uh, it's good to soak up some vitamin D. But uh, I am appreciative to anybody that's made a donation. I'm appreciative to anybody that uh, would make one. I don't have any affiliate links and I don't sell anything except for some leather goods, which is really hard on my hands and takes an enormous amount of manual labor and skills to make. But uh, I'm appreciative to anybody that would make a donation. I want to say thank you and uh, just say, you know, I'm not complicated. And I just want to make helpful content and supportive content to people, so. 
grab my fake pipe that someone sent me years and years ago. I would never smoke. But, uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, I know I got my screen turned off. My mouse is recharging. Stupid Apple design. You got to plug it in on the bottom or you can't use the mouse. You couldn't plug it in the front, which is still let you use the mouse. No, the fools at Apple thought that would be a better idea to put the charging port on the bottom where you can't use the mouse while it's charging. Smart, Apple. Really smart. <laughs> oh, God, Apple. If ever there was a pretentious company, Apple is it. I do love Apple products. I, I own tons of Apple products. Um, never liked Steve Jobs, and I don't like the corporate, at, corporate atmosphere of Apple. They are extremely snooty and pretentious. Extremely. But that's a bad design, by the way, Apple. Really bad. Never liked Steve Jobs. He was a horrible person. I'll edit that out of this video. Thanks for watching. I told you not to watch this video. I said, don't watch it. You didn't listen to me, though. You watched it anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, God.